What's going on, everybody? We have just arrived in Dallas, Texas, and I'm so excited because guess why we're here? Dimebag and Vinny's new band, Damage Plan. So psyched, and I know you are because we've been waiting for this for a long ass time. And um, I've never been to Dallas before, and uh, got my big belt buckle on. I brought my cowboy hat. I'm ready to rock out. I'm going to Don's house, people. Get ready. guys, we're at Don's house, about to check out Damage Plan, and my stomach is a little queasy because Don, Meg, and Vinny are like my biggest heroes ever, and I'm so excited to meet them. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, mother let's check this place out. Holy... That was my first concert ever. My dad went with me to that one, which wasn't too much fun, but it was all good. This is the most rock and roll historical room I have ever seen. Mr. Dimebag Daryl. Hello, What's sir. Happening? What's going on, man? Your house rocks. Thank you. What's going on? Thank Big B in the house. On, Good to see you. Oh, man. Rock and roll. Yeah. This is my official heavy metal dream come true. Awesome. Hey guys. Right on. So show me around the house and give us some history. What's going on? Well, basically, you're looking at it. This is a stop sign that uh, me and Zach Wilde took out right up the street there. The limo guy came to pick us up, and he said, hey, man, I got to take a leak, dude. Is it cool if I go in and take a leak? And he came in, and Zach jumped behind the wheel. I jumped in. We shouldn't have been driving. <laughs> And we just started just mowing everything down. Here's a, here's a piece of it. <laughs> Don't drink and drive, kids. Don't drink and drive. Warm up. See, this is what happens a lot around here. <laughs> Watch them go. <laughs> this is the Slate Tannic. <laughs> the boys at Slayer. Can you feel the vibe right now? <laughs> This, this poor man. cat, we beat this up all the time. Look, we gotta put his arm back on. Aww. Dude, let's see your studio where all the magic happens. It's all right downstairs. Let's go get it for Let's go check it out. Something going on in the bathroom that we need to know about. Devastation's on the way. You can feel That's it coming, right? Are we, are we gonna right. do a shot in the Slate Tannic? Right. You know, we've never really hung out in this room and did like shot shots in here. Dude, I was ah, totally ah, hanging ah, out. Ah, ah, Usually we're ah. leaving fluids in here. All right, Cheers, kids. Man. Here we go. The Slate Tannic. Yeah. Yeah. Power of Slayer, Kerry King. Woo. Get your pull. All right, guys, let's see that studio, man. All right, let's check it out. Oh, oh, hey, man, they both nice got the kill kicked yeah. in. Yeah. Got a nice to meet you, man. Yeah, like yeah. oh, what you got under the kill? Uh, yeah. You want to find out? <laughs> Blow it up. Take a look. Say hello to my little friend. There you go. Get your fool. <laughs> That's what I should be doing. Hell yeah! Woo! Yeah! 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 Anybody wants to know I am wearing underwear. It's very sad. While we're here, tell us about the record. What can we expect? Give us the lowdown, man. Damage. Pure damage from uh, brains to livers. As far as the record goes, it's a very diverse record, uh, very, very pumbling at times, and but it's got some definite weight to it and some depth to it, man. Uh, what do you call it, the Baskin Robbins, 31 yeah. flavors instead of vanilla? 31 flavors of heavy metal instead of just one. You know, When we started this band, uh, we wanted no boundaries on what we were doing. We wanted it to be really diverse. We wanted it to cover any ground we've done in the past and all kinds of new ground. Uh, it's heavier than what we've done in Pantera at times, and then it's much more melodic, uh, deeper all the way around. And, uh, you know, we had the good fortune of hooking it with Pat, and uh, he's not a limited vocalist. He's someone that can really do what we were looking for in the music, a really broad spectrum. That's where Damage Plan's coming from.
you guys try to um, change up your style, but because you were in Pantera for so long, you definitely had a very definitive style. Did you have to f around in order to get away from that, or was this band a completely different thing because of the new members and it just flowed in its own direction? Well, you know, when we first started off, we were trying to just figure out where we were going to go with it, you right. know, and uh, we thought with that we should change things up, and, you know, we played different guitars, different drums, different amps, everything, but there was no hiding that it was Dimebag and Vinnie Paul right. throwing down. And everybody's like, at that point, you know, it just kind of sunk in, you know, hey, man, that's what everybody digs. That's right, what we totally. dig about jamming. That's how it is. And, you know, you hear Edward and Alex jam, I don't care who they're jamming with, you're going to hear some Van Halen in that you know, we did make a conscious effort to, you know, go with the more meaty drum kit, more meaty on the guitar. Let the Pantera thing be what it was and leave it unscarred and be cool what it was and move on into the, you know, the main thing I think was uh, the whole just trying to get the diversity out there and, and branch out and grow, you know, instead of painting the same picture over and over again. Yeah, we can show you right, the, the jam room out there if you want. Yeah, yeah, take a look where we, where we go out and throw down and do our thing, man. Absolutely. All right, here we are in the rock and roll room. This is where we come down here and sweat our balls off, raise hell, and kick some ass. Oh, this is awesome. So this is where the magic happens, people. All right, guys, let's go eat and drink up. Tear it up. Let's do it. Like What's going on everybody? It's day two here in Dallas and uh, the damage is definitely being done. Last night was uh, crazy, but today is damage day and uh, we're on our way to the record store for the CD signing. And this is going to be crazy. They're expecting like 2,000 of you freaks. So rock out and have a good time and I'll see you there. We are here on Damage Plans Plus. Gentlemen, how the are you feeling after last night debauchery? Oh, yeah! Fantastic. Guys, before we get to your signing, I got to ask you, all of you, what was your coolest like heavy metal moment of your life? Like the coolest moment in being in metal ever. Uh, opened up for KISS in South America, and we were flying from Mexico to Chile. And Gene, Paul, Ace, and Peter all came from first class, which they dominated, back to business class where we were, and sang Happy Birthday to Me, four-part harmony, and gave me the history book, every nice. bit of it, all signed by them. It made me cry. That was my, I guess, mild but heavy I was sitting right beside you, and I was just going, this ain't happening, man, you know? It's unbelievable. Uh, it's non-stop. 